Welcome to Bike Wale. I am Pratik, and the bike that you see here is the brand new Java 42 FJ. Now, this is a top end variant, and its overall pricing starts from 1.9 lakh rupees for the base variant, and it goes all the way for 2.2, 2.3 lakh. Now, the motorcycle that you see here is there are multiple colors, but this is my favorite color. Now, before I proceed, I want you to show the overall seating triangle because this is a very laid back motorcycle. As you can see, it was very easy to access the motorcycle and the overall seating triangle, well, you can have a look at it because the pegs are on center set, the handlebar is quite wide and the best part is it gets a single piece seat. Now, let us know what you think about the overall styling of this motorcycle, but before do that, let's just take you to the entire motorcycle. Now, from the front, as you can see, the overall design is neo-modern retro, but with a bit of modern elements like it gets LED lights, LED headlight, it also gets LED turn indicators. And if you go to the back side, it also gets LED tail light. And I really like the way the tail light has been neatly integrated to the mudguard. Now, the other good thing about this motorcycle is it gets an offset instrument cluster that is how it looks it is it looks really really good from this way and uh, one of the other things i really like about this motorcycle is to be honest it's not very very modern nature it still has a lot of new retro design and i think that is going to attract a lot of buyers now this motorcycle in terms of competition you need to know that it will go in direct competition with the royal enfield classic 350 the new one which was launched just a few days ago not the old one now, if you come to the front, there are two variants. One gets the spoke wheel, which is a base variant. This one has alloy wheels at the front as well as the back. The engine on the bike is, well, it's a famous 334cc uh, motor, which, is a, which we see on the Java 350 as well. We have ridden this motorcycle and we kind of really liked it, especially the low and the mid-range. Top end was okay, but this motorcycle is all about low and mid-range, right? It's about easy riding in city and staying say 100, 110 km per hour on the highway. So this engine does the job. However, we don't know how it's going to be performing on this motorcycle. We are yet to test it, which will obviously happen in a few days, maybe in a few weeks. Now, what do you think about this section? Because as you can see, it gets a single piece seat, um, which is brand new, which is not seen on other Java motorcycles. And let us know what you think also from the rear. Now coming to the switch gear, well, as you can see, it has been borrowed from the other Java motorcycles. Uh, it's quite decent to use, uh, but we will actually get to know once we ride the motorcycle for uh, many multiple days. In terms of cycle parts, well, you can see it gets telescopic folks at the front and uh, dual at the back. And one interesting aspect of this motorcycle, which uh, you, you, would, you won't see on the Java 42 is this exhaust, it has a, as you might have seen in the various teasers that uh, we have published on Bike Wale, it gets a slightly upswept exhaust, not really like a proper adventure or a scrambler, but it does uh, kind of, you know, enhances the overall aspirational value in terms of aesthetics. I quite like it. Now, coming to the most asked question on Bike Wale is, how's the exhaust sound? How's the exhaust sound of, of this motorcycle? So let's hear it. That is how the new Java 42 FJ sounds. Let us know through the comment section what you think about this motorcycle. Now, coming to the end part of this video, well, you need to know that this motorcycle will be sold in a total of six variants. There's only one spoke wheel variant, the rest, everything is alloy wheels. Um, and there are multiple color schemes you can play uh, it as well. Now, the bookings for the bike has already been opened at all the Java showrooms across the country, and the deliveries is expected to start within a few days. Let us know what you think about this motorcycle uh, through the, again, the comment section because. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, it, it. It actually, if you're in the market for an urban retro looking motorcycle and you want also want a piece of history, this motorcycle looks pretty good. But yes, we will review, we will ride it more extensively in the next few days when we get the bike and we'll give you a proper detailed review, including the fuel efficiency figure of this bike, city as well as highway. So that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching.